Candle. So let's talk about. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This your boy, Ace of the Spades, man. Let's talk about um, the Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez fight. You know what I'm saying? Happened last night. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep it short and simple. I'm going to try to at least. Um, I'm I am a I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan. You know what I'm saying? I like Manny Pacquiao, I like, you know, his action in the you know, in the ring, so on and so forth. But bro, Marquez beats you, bro. Marquez beats you. The only reason and I'm a, I'm a, see this is what people are not understanding, talking about oh Pacquiao was sharp or Pacquiao was good, man, Pacquiao looked like trash in that ring. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, you fight a dude, you know, you guys know fought like, you know, this is your third time fighting. You know what I'm saying? Of course, somebody gonna know how you fight, but you look like trash out there, bro. You look, you, you look bad. You know what I'm saying? And even at, even after the fight, you didn't look like somebody who won. You know what I'm saying? You look like somebody who was praying to get the dub. You know what I'm saying? To get the win. You know what I'm saying? There was no look of victory in your eyes after the bell rung. You know, for 12 rounds, you got beat up. You know what I'm saying? You got outboxed. You know what I'm saying? He he just knew how to he just knew how to fight you. If anybody knows the blueprint on how to fight Pacquiao, it's Marquez. That's real stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the only reason that you actually you know, Manny, that you actually won that fight is because they wanted to save the gross pay of two hundred million dollars general in, like, you know, that would generate the income from you and Mayweather fight. See, it's, and I was trying to explain this to a couple of people on my Facebook, that boxing has nothing to do with actual boxing. It has more to do with money and politics. You know what I'm saying? It's all politics. It's a business. You know, they did the same thing with uh, Oscar De La Hoya before he was getting ready to fight Shane Mosley the first time or second time or something. Or I forgot who it was. For. No, I think it was um, I think it was Bernard Hopkins. The dude he fought Bernard, before Bernard Hopkins actually beat him. But according to the, you know, according to the scorecards, of course, they had to make uh, Oscar De La Hoya win in order to save the fight with Bernard Hopkins and Oscar De La Hoya. Look it up. And then we can go back to Mayweather and uh, Jose Luis Castillo. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, who Mayweather is, you know what I'm saying? He got beat up twice that fight. He lost both those fights. But according to the scorecards, for some reason, Mayweather won twice. You know what I'm saying? But now you have the situation with uh, with Juan Manuel Marquez. He's not, he's not falling short. You know what I'm saying? This is the problem. He's not falling short. He's actually beating Manny Pacquiao every time they fight, but it's you know what I'm saying. It's, it's who Manny Pacquiao is. You know what I'm saying is the reason that he's getting winning these you know winning these fights on points. You know what I'm saying. On top of that, you have you know what I'm saying the the mega fight that's going to generate more money. You know what I'm saying than any boxing fight ever known to man. You know what I'm saying. You have that on the line. So what do you think is going to happen? It doesn't matter if, if, you know what I'm saying, if Manny just didn't throw no punch, he probably would have still won that fight just to save the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight, you know? And people, you know, and to go off the topic, to go off the topic, right? People were like, oh, uh, Mayweather beat up uh, Pacquiao, you know, he, he made sure work of Marquez. Like I've said, Marquez fought Pacquiao three times. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's funny because Marquez has a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Mexicans got a lot of heart, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to fighting. You know what I'm saying? Kudos to them for that. But, you know, Marquez got a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? To even get in the ring with Pacquiao three times. And Mayweather won't get in with the ring with Pacquiao at all. Okay? But he, you got to remember, they fought three times. You know what I'm saying? I, bet, I guarantee you if, if Marquez and Mayweather fought two more times that I guarantee you that Marquez will get a dub off of May uh, get a dub out of Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? He had him figure it out by the third time, just like he had he had Pacquiao figured out. He'll figure out, you know what I'm saying? He'll figure out uh, he will figure out Mayweather and probably beat him too. I mean that's what happens when you fight somebody more than once. Look what happened with, with Frazier and Ali. You know what 
You know what I'm saying? With Andre, uh, 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 Mickey Ward and Gotti. These cats who are fighting each other multiple times. You know what I'm saying? You guys are going to know how each other fight. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't make anybody better than, you know, than the other. You know what I'm saying? Because if Pacquiao get in the ring with Mayweather, he's going to get his, Mayweather's going to get his face knocked off. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try and end it with that. I hope I can drop some, I drop some knowledge on y'all. And a lot of people just think that Pacquiao won because he's Pacquiao. No, Pacquiao won because they're trying to save the, uh, the mega fight. That's it. It's all about money. You know what I'm saying? And Marquez was a victim. You know what I'm saying? Marquez was a victim because he should have, he should have had his hand raised. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, you know, I'm, I'm a Pacquiao fan, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I'm a boxing fan. You know what I'm saying? And and Marquez should have won. And just keep it at that, you know? You know, if he retires on that note, you know what I'm saying? Then he'll retire on that note. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad note to retire on. But, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's a dirty game. The boxing game is dirty. And a lot of people don't know don't know nothing about boxing. Just just want to talk and yap, yap, yap. It's, it's, it's retarded listening to them. But, you know, they, they don't understand that boxing is a dirty game. And it's politics and it's business, you know? Why, why, why sacrifice, why sacrifice a, a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying, on this fight and then lose out on a $200 million, you know, $200 million fight, you know what I'm saying? So, that you know, that's how I feel about it, you know. Shout out to Marquez, you know what I'm saying, in the Marquez camp, man. Y'all won that fight, you know what I'm saying. Pacquiao, you need, to, you need to do something about Freddie Roach, you know what I'm saying. Y'all need to get back to square one and figure out what's going on because what you're doing right now is not good enough. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm a fan of yours, man. You got to step it up. You was looking like trash out there, bro. You was getting beat up. But yeah, I'm going to keep it at that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. Kings up, bees up. Let's go.